Hey everyone, welcome to a yet another RC Tanks Australia video. In this video, I want to uh, just another show, another run through of um, the Gecko. Um, now, Gecko is a small twin motor controller board um, made by us, of course. Most commonly, Gecko comes in the flavor as controlling your turret motor and your elevation motor. By using Gecko, um, you'll get proportional control over the speed of your turret rotation and your gun elevation. What a lot of people don't realize is that being a twin motor controller, Gecko can power a small tank. Okay, um, You can use that as your main control board for a small, we'll say a 135th scale tank or, or something similar. And what I have here is one of those small Tamiya gearboxes, you know, the $20 jobbies you can get around the place. Now, if you can imagine that in a tank with the drive sprockets on either side, um, I'm going to show you how you can use Gecko to um, drive around your mini tank. Okay, so as I said, in um, dual motor control mode, um, you set it up so that uh, this stick here will control your um, left channel, left stick, left, left motor, right stick, right motor. Okay, so to move forward, both motors must go up, so we put both sticks forward. Away we go, and of course backwards, both sticks come back. To turn left, okay, I mean, think about that, we'll need to use the right motor, and then to turn left, use the right, well, the other way around, you know what I'm on about, okay. Um, yeah, so there we have it. Um, of course, super spin, you just, away we go. There we go, super spin that way, super spin this way. Okay, so there we have um, Gecko being used as a motor controller. Now, just quickly, before we end the video, um, one addition I've made to Gecko since the first round is I put a, a, a jumper here. Now, when we have a jumper across here, these motors are being powered by a 5 volt supply. Whatever supply is going to your receiver is just being passed through to Gecko. Now, to increase the speed and torque of your motors, um, you can increase the voltage going to the motors. Now, to do that, you simply remove this jumper pin, okay? And what I've got here, just to show you, is a LiPo cell. It's a two cell LiPo, so the maximum voltage is gonna be 7.4 volts. Now, if you use the charge plug, you can um, pull a pin off there. So this, if you connect up to this wire here, that's gonna give you the full battery voltage, this, this wire here. So it's gonna give me uh, 7.4 volts, at least, uh, into, into my motors. So you attach a little connection there, and then on this pin, the pin closest to the set of controllers here, you just add your battery voltage. Okay, so now these motors are running, not from the five volts from the receiver, but straight seven volts from, from the battery itself. And you'll see a marked change in the rotation speed. So we go forward, backwards, Super spin. Okay, so you can see by increasing the voltage, obviously we get a lot more speed on our motors. So that's just one of the simple little additions. I think we've run this successfully up to a, a um, that's a two cell, a three cell, so it'll work on 12 volts. Put that there and the motors will surprisingly spin even faster. So you've got a choice of voltages to run your motors. You can, like I said, five volts or whatever you use to run your receiver and then uh, or off your LiPo, seven or 12 volts. So that's the latest, um, the latest Gecko. Plenty of those available in store. Um, get one today, thank you.